Hello learners, welcome back and today we are going to study about the types of enzyme inhibitors. If we talk about the simple mechanism of enzyme action, we know that substrate it binds to the enzyme at its active site and as a result enzyme substrate complex is formed. The, uh, after the formation of enzyme substrate complex, this substrate is broken down into the products and enzyme is ready for another reaction. Now, what are enzyme inhibitors? Enzyme inhibitors are actually the chemical substance that attach itself with the enzyme in place of substrate. It means that instead of substrate, the enzyme inhibitor it is going to bind to the active site and it will hinder its activity, maybe temporarily or permanently. So they are called inhibitors, just like the name indicates that inhibits the activity of enzyme. As you can see in this type, at the active site of the enzyme, the inhibitor has bound and because of that, this enzyme substrate complex, it cannot form. And when the enzyme substrate complex will not form, it means there will be no product formation. Now, talking about the types of enzyme inhibitors, there are two types of enzyme inhibitors, reversible inhibitors or irreversible inhibitors. The reversible inhibitors are further divided into competitive inhibitors and non-competitive inhibitors. Let's study one by one all these inhibitors types. Reversible inhibitors, they actually temporarily hinders the activity of enzyme by making weak linkages with the enzyme. It means that for some time they are going to attach themselves with the enzyme at the active site by forming weak linkages and after some time they will detach itself or they will detach themselves from the active site and now the enzyme it can perform its activity just like normally. As the name indicates their effect can be reversed or neutralized partly or completely. Now how can you do that? It happens by increasing the substrate concentration. It means if you increase the concentration of a substrate in a particular solution, the enzyme is going to attach itself with the substrate and the reversible inhibitor it will release from the enzyme. The two types of reversible inhibitors, the competitive inhibitors and non-competitive inhibitors, one by one let's study them. The competitive inhibitors, they have the structural similarity with the substrate. It means that they are going to compete with the substrate because of their structural similarity. And after the competition enzyme inhibitor complex, it will form. But as we know that they are the inhibitors, so there will be no product. You can see this diagram here enzyme and here is the competitive inhibitor. The shape indicates that both are having structural similarities. So instead of the substrate, this inhibitor will bind to the active side and because of this binding, no product will be formed and the substrate will remain. On the other hand, the non-competitive inhibitors, they do not compete with the substrate because they do not have the structural similarity. However, they bind at a place other than the active site and as a result, they will change the shape of the enzyme. And when the change in the shape of the enzyme will take place, it means that enzyme, it cannot bind with the substrate. Here in this diagram, you can see this is a non-competitive inhibitor while here it is a substrate. The non-competitive inhibitor, it will bind with the enzyme at the site other than the active site but as a result of its binding the shape of the active site is changed here you can see the active site shape was like this but after its binding the shape is changed and as a result of change in the shape the substrate it cannot bind with the enzyme the last type of inhibitors is irreversible inhibitors these inhibitors they permanently inhibit the enzyme catalysis they bind at the active site by forming covalent bonds or they actually destroy the globular structure of enzyme by blocking the active side. As the name indicates that they are irreversible so their effect cannot be reversed even by increasing the substrate concentration. So that was all about what are the enzyme inhibitors. 
and types of inhibitors 